Hey, hey, La Perinos. It is Avi from Of Signs and Swords coming at you once again with an actual unboxing this time. It's taken absolutely ages to arrive because it's gone through the USPS, but it's finally here, opened by the Australian Border Force. We finally have Ring Mesh Chainmail. So, let's open it up and see what we've got inside. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am about Ring Mesh as a product. See, the thing about it is it's not just regular chain mail. It's actually full on proper slash proof armor. Now, the chain mail that we sell from Epic Armory, from Mythalon, a couple of other places, it's pretty good stuff. It's 18 gauge mild steel, sometimes spring steel, but they're large rings and they're usually butted for the cost. In real life, if you were to have a thin needle-like dagger such as a dirk or a stiletto, it's actually designed directly to pierce chainmail by going into the links and then you just pry them apart, which renders the chainmail in real life ineffective. The nice thing about ring mesh is that it doesn't have that problem because the links themselves are so tiny. All right, so let's have a closer look at what we've got inside the box. It's a uh, box one of three, so there's a couple more of them here, and uh, it's not presented the nicest, I, I gotta admit, but that's okay. Um, you know, we've got plenty of packaging stuff here, and I've got experience making packaging, so we'll just repackage it and make a, a nice, neat looking product for the end consumer. Ugh. Look at, ah, it's got my hair already. Look at that though. Look how easily I'm holding this. Uh, what size is this? As you can see, this is the extra large size and I'm having absolutely no problem at all juggling it up and down. I could not do that with a standard set of chainmail from one of the other suppliers. Here, let me show you. Here we've got the XL set of blackened mail from Epic Armory. It's about 14 kilos. Ugh. To give you an idea of what I mean about size comparisons of the rings, let's have a close-up look. Absolutely no way the point of a dagger would be able to get into those rings. Now, LARP daggers are a lot thicker than a real dirk or stiletto would have been, but even as a LARP dagger, that's almost large enough to actually get into those. That point would go in and just sort of pry them apart. Alright, now that I've googled about how light this stuff actually is, let's try it on. Had to tie the hair back. Uh, like all chain mails, this stuff really grabs the hair. I cannot even begin to describe to you guys how well this flows. It's it's like wearing just a very thick, very cold fabric. You know, like a particularly cool summer weight cotton. It just flows around me quite easily. And I've still got a full range of mobility. And the sort of sensation that I don't have wearing regular full weight chain mail. So... The benefit, I guess, of the ring mesh is the fact that it is fantastically light and because it flows so nicely, it doesn't feel like it's inhibiting my movements at all. Also, because it packs up together so nicely, you could probably put this stuff in your luggage when you're traveling by air and still actually come out with armor at the end of it, say you're going to an interstate game. Other benefits include the fact that it requires virtually no maintenance. It doesn't need rebutting of the rings nor is it going to be prone to rust as it's actually made from stainless steel. Technically speaking, the stuff is used in an abattoir type environment where it's consistently getting covered in bits of gore. Lastly, I think the most impressive benefit of it is the fact that the stuff is genuinely armor. So let's take out the box cutter again. And once again, I'm just gonna show you, this is a real knife. Slash proof. No, I'm not bleeding, so it's all good. The downsides include the fact that it is quite expensive. Compared to standard butted mail from some of the cheaper manufacturers, such as Epic Armory or Mythalon, this can cost anywhere between two and eight times as much as plain steel butted mail. It's out of the price range of quite a few LARPers. However, 
If you are a Fae character, this stuff is absolutely perfect, as it doesn't encumber you, and it's pretty quiet. You could be a sneaky rogue wearing this stuff, and no one would hear you coming. The last downside to consider is the fact that because it is a modern manufacturing technique with modern materials, and it's also frankly tiny, some games may not actually count this as authentic armor and either downgrade it or prohibit it entirely. After all, it does give you quite the unfair advantage over other players who are going through the encumbrance of genuine chainmail made from iron or steel. All in all, I'm pretty psyched that we're now able to offer ring mesh as a product to Australian customers. I've already seen heaps of people wearing this stuff on field, but of course, it can be a bit of a hassle getting it into the country in the first place. As you saw before, it was stopped and checked by Border Force. There is a random chance that they will do that with any product that is described as armor, considering that it's actually illegal to own bulletproof armor in this country. And there is just the general cost of getting anything in from the United States to Australia. So there you have it, Larparinos. Ring mesh, fairy slash mithril mail. Proud to be able to bring it to you from Science and Swords, and hopefully we will see you wearing some of this on the battlefield.